Hello friends, today I'm going to give you another example of retrosynthetic analysis. We have discussed in previous videos about disconnection approach of alcohols. Again, this is an alcohol. You can disconnect these molecules in several ways. So whichever you prefer, whichever on that exam day comes first in your mind, do that one. So I have highlighted blue color for alcohol. By the way, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please do so and share and like. If you have any questions regarding organic chemistry or general chemistry, specific electrosynthetic chemistry or spectroscopy and MR or whatever, please put your questions in the comments. I will try to answer your questions by making another video. Without adding further much to it, let's start with the analysis. So as always, what we do is disconnect a compound from position which is more suitable this depends upon your logical reasoning of your chemistry so this is a retrosynthetic arrow and this disconnection is called cc bond disconnection and you have to write it this con that complete word disconnection and then you break this compound into two fragments which are the two components of this one will be one will be carbonyl compound that is aldehyde or ketone in this case it will be aldehyde and the next component will be the Kilgnard reagent easy and then you write M G magnesium yeah that's it oh, pardon let me write it correct so NGBr. When you will do the forward reaction synthesis, then you will combine these two and get your target compound. Furthermore, you can do retrosynthetic analysis of this aldehyde by using a strategy in retrosynthetic analysis that is FGI, which means functional group interconversion. What I mean by this is you interchange one functional group into another for example this is aldehyde we can do FGI to convert it into alcohol why because when we will do forward synthesis we can oxidize alcohol using a, any suitable oxidizing agent to make it into aldehyde furthermore if you want to disconnect this alcohol you can do so also and you can convert alcohols into alkyl halides you can disconnect this one and why we are disconnecting further and further because we need to reach a stage where we can start our synthesis from easily available cheap starting materials that is the basic rule of retrosynthesis you just can't disconnect one po from one point and you feel that okay you did the retrosynthesis that's it no 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 you have to disconnect it up until that point where you can feel from your chemistry knowledge that this compound is easily available and commercially available cheap so that you can do the uh, purchase it from the market but if you want to do this one uh, you can do so but here we will do the another strategy with this alcohol rather than going into alkyl halide one what we will do is we will do again another FGI to convert this into okay let me write here convert this alcohol into Lignard reagent and aldehyde so what I mean by this is that we can make two fragments of this molecule by disconnecting from this area uh, sorry by disconnecting it from this area one will become aldehyde the other will become the Gergenard reagent so then again you can go in a forward direction by reacting Gergenard reagent with simplest aldehyde that is form aldehyde 
height and which is this uh, formula formaldehyde is carbonyl compound having two hydrogens on both of the sides so this is carbonyl compound not yet but let me put the oxygen now this is carbonyl compound this is hydrogens on both sides of it now this becomes simplest member of aldehyde family all right this was the analysis or disconnection approach you can say it now if you want to go forward what you can do is type synthesis and you start from the last step of the retro becomes the first step in the synthesis so this is the last step you take this molecule and react it with uh, this one formaldehyde so these two will react together to give you the product so that product will be this one remember so we are going forward direction now retrosynthetic was the backward direction that is the difference between simple synthesis and retrosynthesis the retro word also itself indicates you are going in a backward direction to design a synthetic route for a particular set of compounds or molecule right next step was to convert alcohol into aldehyde so to do so we can simply do oxidation of alcohol using a pcc as oxidizing reagent so that is oxidation so it will oxidized alcohol into this aldehyde and okay let me bring it down there in order to save your time i'm not one of those youtubers who make long videos deliberately to get the more hours i'm not after hours you know i my purpose is that you can learn from my videos so that's why i'm not using much time to draw the structure again and again just i'm taking it from the top so we can save this time easily right now next step will be to react this aldehyde with grignard reagent this one again i'm not drawing the structure i'm just pulling from the top so these are the skills that you need to learn for chem draw professional if you haven't watched the video about Kendra, you can watch my video how to use Kendra software and if you have any questions regarding this, I'm happy to answer your questions. Okay, if you combine these two reagents, aldehyde and Grignard reagent, you will reach your destination, that is your target molecule, simple. So this is art of synthesis, you know, it's not a child's play. You. You can't just mix things up and put the arrows everywhere. You need to learn this and I'm teaching you this. This is the target compound and that's it. You can write TM, target molecule. Let me show you the quick recap what we did. We disconnected alcohol from this area, broken into two parts, aldehyde and Grignard reagent. Then we converted aldehyde by using FGI into alcohol. Then we converted alcohol again using same strategy as the first step into Grignard reagent and aldehyde, which is simplest way of formaldehyde and did synthesis. Combined these re reagents to make the products. And this is the forward direction and this was the backward direction. I hope you like this video. Please press the bell icon for more interesting videos. Thank you.